day and welcome to the news. I can bet any amount of money Tinubu doesn't have certificates, but they judge. Now, the news in details. Hours after a controversy started over the academic history of the All Progressives Congress, APC, presidential candidate Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a video has surfaced online of the former Deputy National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Olabode Judge, challenging Tinubu to present his certificate. Judge, a staunch critic of Tinubu, has remained consistent in his claims that Tinubu did not attend primary and secondary school. Judge's claim started trending after the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, published particulars of candidates where Tinubu said the certificates of its primary school and secondary school had been stolen. Immediately after the information went viral, the video of an Arise TV interview with Judge began to trend. In the video, the Lagos PDP leader insisted Tinubu does not have primary and secondary school certificates and that he could bet that the APC candidate did not attend the schools he claimed to have attended. Judge alleged that during the 1999 election, Tinubu allegedly said he attended some schools in Ibadan, Oyo State. In the video, Judge said, I can, get, I can bet with any amount of money. Let Bola Tinubu bring out the certificates of his primary school and secondary school and the university he attended. We want to see them. I remember in 1999 when we had the election, when they pulled his paper that he filled with INEC, they asked him how to produce all the papers. He said he went to government college in Ibado and children's home school in Ibado. We went there, we checked. What year? Nothing. He then quickly came out to say it was Afikoyomi that filled it because if you went to a particular school, you must have friends. You won't be the only one in that college. So here we have um, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, um, chieftain and a former military governor of Ondo State in the person of Olabode Judge, actually stating that Tinubu doesn't have any certificates and like he said, he can bet any amount of money that Tinubu doesn't have certificates. As we all know, the controversy started after it was said that Tinubu didn't attend primary and secondary school, but then he claims to have gone to the um, Chicago State University in the United States. And this led to a lot of issues. As people, t as people said that when he was contesting for the post of the Le governor of Lagos State in 1999, he presented his primary and secondary school certificates, saying he attended some schools um, in Ibadan. He did both primary and secondary school in Ibadan. But now there's about to contest for the post of the president. He's saying that he didn't actually attend primary and secondary school. And this has caused a lot of um, conversation online as a lot of people are saying, how possible is it for you to go to prom, not to attend primary and secondary school, but then go to the university and then... Um, the interview which um body judge actually had with arise tv started trending online where he said that he can bet any amount of money that tinubu didn't doesn't have certificates and he said that um tinubu said he went to government college ibado and children's home school in ibado but that when they were there to check there was nothing and they even asked him what year but then he couldn't provide this. Um, after they went to check and they came up with nothing, he then quickly came out to say it was a certain Afiku, Afikuyomi that filled it because that filled the um the form. Because again, like Bode Judge is saying, if you actually went to a particular school, you should have friends there. And um everything um it's just piling up. Like, I mean, how would someone want wanted to contest for the post of the president not have certificates? Um, but the judge is saying that Tinubu doesn't have any certificates and 
there's um all the things is saying is a lie that is not even sure if you attended the university is claiming to um attend and this is this has just gone viral and a lot of people are of the opinion that they didn't really attend the university they didn't really attend primary school they didn't really attend secondary school because as we all know primary school secondary school education is very paramount in um getting into the university and i don't see all possibilities for you to skip both primary school and secondary school and actually get the opportunity to study in a university not in nigeria though in a university abroad which is like out of this world so um it's very um alarming a lot of people are saying tunable should come out and speak on the issue and like body judge a lot of people um, um political um leaders are coming out to actually talk on the issue and say how is it possible for someone not to attend primary and secondary school but then attend the university or you don't have primary and secondary school um certificates and you want to be the president of nigeria and like how the nigeria is um turning into something else because to even get the job of a cleaner sometimes you must provide them with your secondary school living certificate and then we have this one we have someone that wants to actually lead us that wants to lead us that wants to be a president saying he doesn't have primary and secondary school education certificates meaning he didn't attend or what exactly is going on i mean if you didn't attend secondary school then how did you get your work and all that so there are a lot of things to actually think about and um put into um take into consideration as this is something that has caused a lot of um back and forth with tunable supporters bringing out different things to um support him and his ambition of becoming president which is um, people that are not his supporters actually saying how is it possible that someone did it at them primary and secondary school but wants to contest for the post of president is just very um funny and but the judge who is a critic of tunubu is saying that tunubu didn't attend any school and is saying that there is no certificate anywhere that if tunubu is asked to bring certificates that he can't provide them so i would love to hear the views opinions thoughts of my able listeners what do you think about the um schooling and um certificates matter do you think it's possible not to have um primary school and secondary school living certificates but still attend a very prestigious school abroad or do you really think he did you really think Tinubu didn't attend school or did you think he attended but maybe he lost his certificate what exactly do you think of this don't forget to like share this news to your loved ones and family and subscribe to our channel so you get an update anytime a post is made that's it from us today guys thank you and god bless